So I wanted to share something with you which I saw today which I found quite interesting about the Pentagon being in the Amazon rainforest and um, conducting bioterrorism research. Now I don't really know this particular uh, journalist but um, I think it's kind of interesting and it's not surprising if this is the case. The theme of biological warfare has gained increasing prominence in recent times. The global pandemic of the new coronavirus has aroused interest in this matter in particular and several speculations have arisen by experts from many countries about the possibility of an artificial origin of this virus that currently plagues the planet. In fact, it doesn't matter if this particular virus was created in a laboratory or not, but the use of biological manipulation for military purposes is a complex subject and worthy of careful study. The interest in this issue is absolutely legitimate and allows such a debate to go beyond the sphere of quote-unquote conspiracy theories to acquire an academic character. Recently, some alleged cases of biological weapons operations have received due attention thanks to the suspicions raised by the pandemic. This is the case for American military laboratories in the Amazon rainforest. Although little is said about this subject, the American armed forces maintain several laboratories for obscure research purposes within the Amazon territory. It is already known that many of these laboratories have or had an active participation in the drug production process by drug trafficking crim criminal organizations hidden in the Amazon. The most notorious laboratory is the so-called Nam Namru 6, which belongs to the American Navy. The obs observatory for the closing of the School of the Americas reported in a note that served bacteriological and tropical disease researchers are being carried out in the Peruvian Amazon by Namru 6 base. In Peru, the United States has a number of military bases, some alleg allegedly involved in drug trafficking, end quote, said Pablo Ruiz, spokesman for the observatory, emphasizing, quote, this is a military base that we are monitoring, which belongs to the U.S. Navy. Namru conducts research on pathological and infectious diseases, and we are very concerned because it is close to the Amazon, and eventually on that military base, they could be preparing biological weapons, end quote. Namru 6 Naval Medical Research Unit 6 is an American Navy biomedical research center based in Lima, Peru. Publicly, Washington states that the interest of the research is carried out by the base is identification and control of infectious diseases and the development of medications for their control. However, there are several suspicions about the real nature of its activities with the hypothesis of clandestine operations on biological manipulation being highly considered. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> when I read this, I, I almost want to start laughing because, I mean, it's just like saying to the Pentagon and the military, you know, are you doing this? It's like saying to a kid that's that's got, you know, candy all over their mouth, or chocolate all over their mouth, and, um, um, you know, did you eat that chocolate? <laughs> Too silly. Of course they, of course they're doing, they're doing things that aren't good. I mean, why the Pentagon? Why is the Pentagon involved? Why, why is it the military? If it, if it was just for everyday research, why isn't it some other group, some other organization? And according to the Obs Observatory, which is a social movement that fights for the end of foreign military bases in Latin America. NAMRU is behind the creation of several biological weapons, many of which have already been used in combat by the USA. The observatory spokesperson reported that the investigations being carried out on NAMRU suggest that this base is behind the ap epidemic of hemorrhagic dengue in Cuba in 1981, which caused the death of hundreds of people. The hypothesis gains even more strength now that evidence is found of the, of the use of the mosquito Quote, Aedes aegypt, I don't know how you pronounce that, A-E-D-E-S-A-A-G-Y-P-T, host of the virus that transmits dengue and other diseases, as a biological weapon by the Pentagon in several regions of the planet, as described in several official documents recently revealed. Pablo Ruiz argued that the UN bodies responsible for the control of weapons of mass destruction should work more closely with regard to biological weapons and seek greater control over the activities 
carried out by military laboratories. In his words, quote, in the situation that humanity is con currently experiencing, it would be very good if the UN body that ensures that no country produces weapons of mass destruction could visit this base and see what they are doing there with infectious diseases, end quote. In fact, too much attention has been paid in recent decades to the danger of nuclear weapons pro proliferation. However, biological weapons are almost never seriously treated, with almost all complaints on the subject being referred as, quote, conspiratorial, end quote. The reason for this is understandable. When used, biological weapons transmit an atmosphere of, quote, normality, end quote, as they deal with natural phenomena that are artificially manipulated. So the last thing one would think about an infection is that it is a military weapon rather than a natural phenomenon. But this is exactly where the benefits of using such weapons are. They are almost never noticed and their damage can be greater than that of chemical and nuclear weapons, which clearly identify their launches. The difficulty in understanding whether or not such weapons were used in a given event was the main reason why some countries chose to go ahead and research to develop such, such products. It is increasingly difficult to deny the existence of biological weapons. It is a matter of time before publicly admitting that, that the biomedical field is a battlefield just like any other, just as it happened recently with, the cy with cyberspace. However, it is proved whether or not such weapons are being used, many things continue to happen, such as, for example, top secret research by the American Navy within the Amazon rainforest. The location is extremely s strategic, far from any rich country, in remote and difficult to reach regions. These laboratories remain out of the in international media and do not put the populations of Western urban centers at risk in the event of accidents or leaks. Indeed, Washington, already has several accusations of use of using biological weapons. Experts from Russia, China and Iran, several other nationalities raise this hypothesis about the new coronavirus. Now a new charge comes from South America. Above all, the US owes the world an answer. After all, what is so secret about biomedical research being carried out in, the, in military laboratories in remote areas of the globe? International society demands an explanation. That's from the American tri Tribune. Uh, the writer is Lucas LaRoz, L-E-I-R-O-Z. -E He's a research fellow in international law at the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. He is also an independent journalist and political activist. His interests include international law and international relations, geopolitical, geopolitics, space law, and public security. And the title of that was Pentagon would be producing biological weapons in the Amazon rainforest. I think he means could be producing, but I'm not sure. Okay, so anyway, um, I found that very interesting and sort of disturbing at the same time. And it's just incredible to me that any uh, country, I mean, allows the US military to do anything. Uh, you know, I know they force themselves and they've imperialized places and they also install puppets and etc. But things like, and things like this, it's just, it's just outrageous. You know, it's like, just no, that the Pentagon and the military have to be doing something dodgy there, you know, if they're actually there to, um, what, why are they there? They're collecting various bacteria and, and creating various, um, you know, bioterrorism agents probably, or collecting viruses and, and creating various bioterrorism agents. Whatever they're doing, it's not good. You can guarantee that. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Trish Roberts. Um, we hit the thousand mark uh, a, few, a couple of days ago, and I thank anybody who um, has um, shared my work so far. For, I thank you for joining, um, and I hope that um, you find some of the content interesting, even if you're not vegan as well, because I do various vegan uh, videos or I intersperse veganism in my videos. And I thank you for not going unsubscribe if you're not interested in veganism because it's it's all related and that's why I throw it into various uh, videos. It's all related and um, it's all it's all very important. Um, and if the the more you know about why to be vegan, the ethical reasons, the more you'll realize why it's equally as important as any other issue I talk about. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notifications bell, otherwise you won't receive notifications when I drop a video. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye for now. Thank you.